Hey guys, it's Janine Patrice. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel in general. Today, we are celebrating a year locked. Last year on September 4th, 2018, I got my locks installed using the comb coil method by my loctician, Jessie Locks. Look her up, she's in the STL area. She's phenomenal, I love her styling, her advice. It was everything that I've needed throughout this first year. But anyway, yeah, it's been a whole year of having these. I wasn't sure if I was going to miss my hair or you know, if I would feel like any other type of way about it or how it was really gonna go. I had a lot of freak outs in the beginning. <laughs> um, and I had just a lot of moments of like doubt and a lot of moments where I was like, you know what, my hair's just never going to lock, which is unbelievable because it my hair did lock fairly fast. Um, but still, you just never know. This journey has literally taught me so much about patience more than I would have ever thought it would have and in addition to patience it's just taught me how to love and accept myself I know a lot of people in their lock journeys probably I'll say a lot of the same things but it really is true you find out more about yourself and how you perceive yourself in society the rest of the world and I have to say overall, if I were to describe my journey so far with one word, I would say liberating. I have found that my hair just isn't like a top thing in my life. And not to say that like I don't take care of it or it's like comes last in on my priorities. No, like I take care of my hair, I keep up with it and I make sure it's healthy, I make sure it's clean, all of that. And so not to say that I am neglecting my hair in any way it hasn't been like a number one thing i haven't had to spend a lot of time on it i haven't had to spend a lot of money on it with the exception of getting my hair professionally retwisted buying products is not really a thing that happens a lot yeah i just really like the level of maintenance it's been quite the journey i can just already remember the old videos i had on this channel where i was you know, washing my locks for the first time, where I was getting my locks styled for the first time, or when I had my little lock unraveling freak out video. I still get comments on that to this day, like, hang in there, and it's like, oh, I'm way past that. Uh, but I still love to see like people still commenting on my old videos and saying where they're, where they're at in their journey. and. It's kind of like they just discovered my journey along with theirs and it's it's rewarding at the end of the day. So, just to get into the update part. My locks, the last time you guys have really heard me talk about them was in my 9 month lock update video. And I think I was like bragging about hang time <laughs> or something like that in that video and I have to say that like my hair has grown so much in just three short months and definitely ever since my six months. My six month was so short and now look like, it's crazy and it's like I finally see the vision. I see like, you know, I see it coming together. I see how, you know, gorgeous my locks will be when they get to a longer length. I mean, I think that they're gorgeous now to be honest. I've been reflecting about this first year and I'm wondering like what's next for my lock journey like I wonder how this next year is going to go I wonder how I'm going to be as far as styling and I'm wondering if I'm ever going to be someone who has locks that also like retwist my hair all the time because I know a lot of um, lock youtubers on here decided not to go to the salon anymore due to certain experiences and I haven't had any negative experiences uh, so far. Nothing like too deep and so, and I, I just like the way it looks when it's professionally retwisted but I, I don't know, I've been thinking about it and I might start retwisting it on my own more and maybe like going to get it professionally retwisted maybe every three months instead of every month. Just throwing that out there. Bear with me, I am congested beyond belief. I thought it was allergies but I think I might be coming down with something so uh, I've been really proud of myself honestly this past year I haven't given up on my locks once I have been discouraged sure <laughs> plenty of times I've been discouraged I'm quick to say that plenty of times I thought my hair wasn't gonna lock 
there's been plenty of times where I just wasn't sure like what was gonna happen. There's been times where my hair looks a mess, it's sticking up all over the place, but we we getting there, y'all. We're getting there. And I'll just go ahead and update my locks as to where they are right now. I still have loose ends. Loose ends was a big thing that I've talked about in most of my updates and I definitely still have them. Let me get you guys a little bit closer to me. There's still some loose ends. As you can see, I have a lot of ends that are that look just like this, where it's just, you know, it's a little bit stringy at the end. They're starting to form like little tiny knots. Uh, sometimes I don't mind them, sometimes I'm just like, ugh. They're not my favorite thing. And I do embrace my journey, but that doesn't mean that I can't still be annoyed by something. I don't want anybody to think that I am speaking negatively about locks just because I'm a little annoyed at the loose ends. I do embrace every stage, and I just want to embrace it on to the next level. <laughs> I'm still having some loose end moments. As far as like the thickness of my locks go, I... I'm learning to love them even more as they're growing longer. And I realize like not all my locks are the same size, which is perfectly fine, but a majority of them are on the thicker side. And so a lot of people ask me like, oh, what size are your locks? How many do you have? I only have 85, just for a refresher for you guys. I have 85 locks and I told my loctician when I got my lock started last year that I wanted medium sized locks. I was just telling my friend about this, but I had no idea what I was saying when I was like, oh yeah, medium, like, I don't know. I just knew that I didn't want anything small. I didn't want sister locks, but I think sister locks is probably extremely small on the spectrum. Then there's probably small, medium, thick, or something like that. Um, I just knew I didn't want them super thick and I didn't want them super small, so I said medium, <laughs> as if this is like a McDonald's drive-through. I said medium. And my locks, I feel like, are pretty thick. And just to give you guys a more up-close look, they're on the thicker side, especially the ones in the middle. Um, the middle of my head are the thickest, with my smaller ones being towards like the edges. So like this one is like one that would fall right here, and this is pretty small in comparison to like the big the bigger ones in the back. As far as how my locks are, I did realize that I wish that I would have changed them earlier on. Shocker. I wanted to have like a middle part because I knew that when my locks are really grown down and straight, then a middle part would just be like, oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I really like middle parts. So I realized that I don't really have much of a middle part. This is a lock right here. So like it only like goes, deviates over to the left just a little bit. And that's kind of like what I'm going to have to have as a middle part. It's as close to the middle. And I think that the longer my hair grows, the more it'll look like it is a middle part. Honestly, I have had this issue before as a loose natural. Um, I've had many instances where people or like try to part my hair in the middle and they're like, I just don't, I can't find the middle of your head. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something weird about my forehead. Maybe my forehead is too big, I don't know. But um, it's like right here, but I don't know. People always like, is that the middle or not? Maybe my face is just really asymmetrical and I have no idea. That's the only thing I'm really salty about is that I don't have a middle part. Will I correct it? I don't know. I have seriously thought about it. I was like, what if I combed out the few locks that I have up here and just have her redo it in like a little like middle part kind of thing. Not much, just like a little chunk. But then I'm like, do I have the patience to restart a lock journey in portions of my head while some of it is still locked? I don't know. I think it would be easier if I, you know, wanted to correct some in the back and relock them as opposed to the front. So I think I might just leave them, but stay tuned because my mind changes about that all the time. I think I want to start getting into more head wraps, although my hair is getting a little longer now to like fit head wraps. I'm trying to like get into like other designs with them. I haven't tried any out because I haven't ordered any new ones and the only kind of scarves I use to wrap my hair are like scarves you wear around your neck. They work the same. This is like a little scarf I got from the Soulard Farmer's Market here in St. Louis. Um, it was at one of the vendor stations there's like a food side and then there's like a vendor side where they sell like clothing and stuff and crafts and so i went over there and i was like oh this looks cute cute i wear it all the time i just think it's so cute to throw on especially if you haven't had a retwist in a while it like still makes your hair look great so 
yeah, I'm getting more into that. You guys saw in my one video, I had um, a video where I temporarily dyed my locks. It was only one lock, actually. I temporarily dyed one lock, and I wasn't really a crazy about the result. And I thought about would I want to dye my hair for real? And I don't think I will. I, at least not now. I don't foresee myself dyeing my locks. I think I want to give my hair more time to mature before I do anything like that. And I'm also afraid about damage. And that's something that I didn't think I was going to be afraid of with locks. Sometimes when people get locks, they're just like, oh, your hair is going to be fine. It's just in a lock. It's already tangled up. You might as well like dye it but like actually sometimes people dye their locks and they end up with a lot of damage and I've literally known people with locks whose locks would like often like crumble apart at the bottom and just fall off just because of lack of moisture and sometimes that wasn't even due to dye so if I were to dye my hair and it got drier am I ready to handle that damage and I, I'm not I love my hair the way it is I haven't really been styling my hair as much as I used to like I feel like when I had shorter hair back when I was you know oh I had like a different hairstyle every day in one video my weekend hairstyles I was very experimental with trying new things and nowadays I just let them be they're mostly down sometimes I have it half up half down in my normal top knot bun in the front down in the back or I put a headband on or I put a head wrap on. I'm not really doing much styling with my hair. I'm just kind of giving it a break because I know that I was doing a lot of professional styling that was tight on my hair earlier this summer. But lately, my new go-to whenever I do, well, <laughs> I've only gotten this done once to my hair, but it's my new go-to anyway. I love two strand twists y'all I don't think I have a video recorded with it but in my last video where I uploaded my makeup look using Jackie Ina's palette you can see like the uh, crinkles and stuff from that those two strand twists you think locks themselves are low maintenance those two strand twists were even more low maintenance I would just like wake up and go it made it to the point and also I didn't think my hair was long enough for them and granted my hair still looks short with them it looks shorter even shorter with the two strands um, in but it wasn't crazy short so I was happy about that but also it just got me excited for whenever my hair is really long because I just know that like two strand twists on like long locks it's gonna look like I got like um two strand twists with Marley hair or you know what I'm talking about. I really do love those two strands. I think that's gonna be my go-to style whenever I do get my hair styled because it makes the retwist last a lot longer. So I do want to say that I want to try some hair over my locks and by that I mean, you know, box braids or twists over my locks. I have a trip coming up in November. So it's a little ways away now, but it's coming up soon. And I'm trying to figure out like how do I want my hair for the trip and of course I can wear my locks out like that's no issue but I also kind of want like a fresh style for that trip and so I've been thinking like maybe I will get like Marley twist or like Havana twist over my locks I do have a little qualm about it I asked one of my former stylists she used to do braiding hairstyles on me she also does like Havana twists and so I asked her like oh do you do these over locks and she was like Oh yeah, it just depends on the size of the locks. And so whenever I sent her a picture of the locks, she read it. <laughs> she read it on the Instagram message and didn't reply. So after that, I was like, okay. <laughs> and I'm kind of freaking out because I'm like, well, are my locks too thick for somebody to braid over? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. These are like the thickness of my locks. Do you guys think that they're too thick to have raids or twists over them? If so, let me know and maybe I'll stop pursuing that. Oh, another thing is that I'm interested in getting more lock jewelry. I don't really style my hair with lock jewelry that much. I have like a few gold clamps, but they're kind of on the smaller side. My loctician did give me a little corkscrew kind of one with a shell at the end. I only wore it once and uh, I didn't even take the time to figure it out again. So I might get into getting even more more pieces and wearing lock jewelry more because I do find that it's gorgeous. As the seasons are starting to change, fall is right around the corner. I'm so excited, but I do think that I need to have a little lock routine for the fall winter. 
I didn't really have one last year because I was still trying to form my locks. So it was like I was more concentrated on are they going to lock rather than like deep moisture or anything, you know, along those lines. So I'm probably going to try to develop some sort of little hot oil treatment routine going on. Um, I think that would be nice to do. I'm also trying to look into like how do I slick my edges. I used to use gel, but I noticed that it makes build up and I don't really want that. So I'm trying to like look into some, you know, edge control type things for that. I think that is it guys. Thank you so much for everyone who's been on my channel um, throughout this past year. I feel like I just feel so full whenever I get like new subscribers or new people commenting on my videos and watching or following me on Instagram. I think that's lovely too. <laughs> so I, I just enjoyed this whole year of connecting with you guys more than anything and being able to have some lock friends out there that are going through the same things that I'm going through. I just think it's all great. I love you guys so much. Uh, make sure that you like this video if you like the content. I'm going to be back with more lock videos more than ever. I also have some exciting vlogs and stuff planned. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see this face again. <laughs> Don't be shy. Make some comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me on this first year and let's hope that there's many years to come. <laughs>